Now, your vision positioning sensors are right here. These sensors allow your Phantom 4 to hold its position when flying indoors, even without GPS signal. There are two sonic sensors and two optical sensors. Remember, there are certain environments that may prevent the vision positioning system from functioning normally. Please see the user manual for more information on that. Your aircraft has antennas built into all four of its legs for optimal signal transmission. All right, let's take a look at the remote controller. The included remote communicates with your aircraft using a 2.4 gigahertz radio signal. Let's take a closer look at how the remote works. First, remove the protective wrapping from the remote controller and the antennas. This is the power button. Press the power button once to check your remote controller's battery status, like this. Press the button once, then press again and hold to turn the remote controller on. Once, again and hold. To turn the remote controller off, press the power button in the same way. Press once, again and hold. And it's off. The remote controller's power port is located right here on the side. To charge the remote controller, simply insert the plug into the power port and then connect the charger to a power source. Here are your antennas. The antennas emit the 2.4 gigahertz digital radio signal that controls and transmits video from your aircraft. By positioning the antennas up, you maximize the signal strength and your aircraft's range. This is the mobile device holder. Clamp your mobile device to your remote controller using the holder. Now, if you're using a smaller device, these small tabs on the side will flip out. The clamp extends by pressing this button. To clamp down, just push down on the top, just like that. 